Hi everybody, Kimberly back again and I am still using the Heatwave foil pen tool from We Are Memory Keepers. I'm just having a great time experimenting and playing around so I thought I would share um, another way to use the Heatwave foil pen um, and this time I'm going to do it using some stamps. And um, what I did was I took and I stamped my image um, from fall florals from my favorite things um, onto a piece of tracing paper. Now this is um, like artist trading paper, tracing paper. It comes in a pad. You can buy it at any big box craft store. Um, I did try vellum, but I have to say that the vellum was too thick and did not allow the heat to come through. So um, tracing paper worked really well. So I stamped it with some hybrid ink and then heat set it because I knew it wouldn't come off once I did that. So the idea here again with our heat tool is to um, push the foil down onto the paper without any needing adhesive or laminate or any of that. So I have turned this on, I've let it warm up and remember, you know, grab down here, don't grab up here where it's going to get hot. Um, you don't want that to happen. So let's take some um, washi tape and hold the corners of our cardstock down. And then what I like about the tracing paper is I can move this around to figure out where I want all my branches to go. So I think I'm going to do this one here. And I'm only going to put down one side with the washi first because then I can take my piece of foil. Actually, let's take this one. It's a little smaller that I've trimmed down. And then I can place it underneath and get it exactly where I'm going to want it on my project. And make sure that you use a little bit of washi here to help hold things in place so it doesn't slide around. And you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna take your heat tool and put it down onto the tracing paper. And remember, um, go very slow and move the pen very slowly and you're basically just going to trace over the stamped image. And I have a tendency to move too quickly with this pen and I don't give it enough time to be able to transfer the foil. So I have to remind myself to go back over the image and trace it. Also remember that don't tilt the pen so much. Try to hold it a little bit more upright. You'll get more of the surface of the pen tip when you do this. All right, so I'm just gonna continue on and do this. And I can just keep moving this piece of tracing paper and my gold foil as I go. But one thing I wanna show you before we get too far is what you can do is lift up your gold foil and take a peek and see where you have or haven't transferred enough of the foil. And that happens a little bit because you're going through another surface. So what you can do is go back over where you've already been and just put the rest of that foil down and finish off your image. So isn't that cool? So there's a lot of possibility here using stamps with your um, heat wave foil pen. And I wanted to show you, this is um, the part that I'm gonna put on a card and I just put these gold touches behind my flowers and then I added one little dot just freehand by sticking my foil over the top and um, added a little touch of gold. So there we go, another way to use your heat wave tool pen from We Are Memory Keepers. And remember, I've got a couple other videos of some fun ways to use this tool.